Hello again. Uh, this video is to show you how to replace a Honeywell uh, discharge air temperature sensor, also known as DATS, D-A-T-S. You'll see the word D-A-T-S if you have one of these Honeywell um, control like that. And there's a area for the wires back here, D-A-T-S sensor. Um, you can see that the uh, blue and red are in there. They don't need to go in any particular order. You just pick two of the wires. Or at least that's the way I found them. Uh, that's the way I saw it in some other videos. So the um, problem that I had was um, it looks like the sensor might have gone bad because here you could see that I got the new one in now, but I, the problem was the old one, even when the um, heating was off, was showing... 160, 170 degrees Fahrenheit, which there's no way that could be true. Um, so the only thing I can think of is the sensor went bad. So here's the old sensor right here. Um, you see it's got a little prod in the back and you just kind of stick it in um, the plinth right here. And you know, you could just kind of poke a hole and um, this had to be taped on because um, this type of box is one of those soft boxes and it really can't accept the screw. So I figured that was bad and the new one was only about $15 off Amazon and um, I actually put the new one on. You can see it right here. Um, it's a little bit different looking. It does have the screws but um, I'm going to go put some mastic tape on there to really hold it down. I don't trust the screws basically just kind of just pushed in without any give. Um, if this was a true metal box, it would have went in a lot more secure. And you can see here, um, I connected some wire nuts, the uh, blue and red wire. Um, and the nice part, which you kind of already saw, I wish I took a picture before, if so you believe me, is the, um, it says DATS 70 degrees Fahrenheit, which is cool. That makes more sense. The heat's off right now. Um, it's about 70 degrees up here in the attic right now and you know sounds like a uh, sounds like it's definitely um, more accurate and the biggest thing is I'm going to turn on the heat now and let's see how that goes the whole point of the sensor is if it goes beyond a high limit um, such as whatever it's set to I believe it's set to about 158 160 degrees Fahrenheit it will cut the system off so the fact that it thought that it was there when it was about half half the de, ha, half the degrees cooler, um, it just kept cutting the system off, and we were not getting any heat upstairs, and that's a big problem. It's starting to get really cold here, uh, at least at nights and in the mornings. So, let me go turn on the heat. I'm actually doing it on my phone. You can see that the heat is on now, and of course thermometer that's in there is rising before this was at at this point it would have shut off already but it would have been close to 160 170 degrees Fahrenheit when we know that it wasn't that hot so this is definitely a prove it $15 part um, and you get a nice accurate reading it's designed it's working as designed 